Hello, welcome to Biogrids TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Nisafor Diodenesoglu. Nisafor Diodenesoglu was born on the 29th of November 1934 in Togo, but to Beninese parents. He schooled at the University of Paris, where he obtained degrees in law and economics. Subsequently, he returned to his country, Benin Republic, which was then known as Dahomey. Upon his return, he was appointed the Inspector of Finance and he held that position from 1965 to 1967. When his cousin, Colonel Christophe Soglu, overthrew the government of President Soro Megan Apithi, he was appointed as the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs. Following the 1972 coup that saw Matthew Kareko come to power, he fled the country and held positions at international organizations such as the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund IMF. Troubled with a stagnant economy and growing dissatisfaction as a result, the Kareko government succumbed to pressures to convene a national conference that will lead the country towards multi-party democracy. Nisafor Soglo was made Prime Minister following the conference with effect from March 12, 1990. A new constitution was also produced from the conference which got an overwhelming approval through a referendum held on December 2, 1990. When the first multi-party presidential elections were held in the country on the 10th of March 1991, Soglo got the most vote which, however, amounted to just 36.31% of total votes cast. A runoff was held between him and Matthew Kereko, and Soglo emerged winner with 67.73% of the votes. This was the first time that an opposition candidate would win a free election in Francophone Africa. He assumed office on the 4th of April 1991. In the following year, Rosen Soglo, wife of President Soglo, founded the Renaissance Party of Benin, PRB or RB, and her husband became leader of the party. In 1993, President Soglo headed the Benin delegation in the first Tokyo International Conference on African Development. During his presidency, Soglo took economic measures to revive Benin's devastated economy. But these measures were not well embraced by the people, leading to civil unrest and weakened his popularity. But his government was applauded for its adherence to democratic principles and respect for human rights. In March of 1996, during the presidential elections, Soglo again came out on top in the first round, but he was defeated in the second round by the dogged Matthew Kereko. Soglo, however, said his loss was as a result of fraud in the elections, but this allegation was rejected by the Constitutional Court. He made another attempt to regain the presidency in the elections of March 2001, but he placed second behind Matthew Kareko with 27.12% of the vote. Although Soglo could have participated in the runoff against Kareko, he withdrew from the race alleging irregularities which ensured Kareko's victory. By the next presidential elections in March 2006, Soglo could not run again due to the age limit of 70 years. His son Lehadi Soglo, however, ran as the candidate of the Renaissance Party but placed fourth with 8.44% of the vote. Another son, Ganyu was also a contender in the elections but did not fare well either as he got only about 0.17% of the votes. With the presidency eluding him but still eager to make more contributions in the political space of Benin, in December 2002, Nisifor Soglo decided to run for the municipal elections in Cotonou, Benin's largest city. He emerged victorious with 41 out of the 45 councillors backing him. He was sworn in as mayor in February 2003. He was again victorious when he stood for re-election in 2008. 
His son, Lehadi Soglo, eventually succeeded him as mayor in 2015. Lehadi had previously served as his deputy mayor. Even though he then occupied just a humble position as mayor, his international statesmanship was not diminished. In October 2005, Soglo and former United States President Jimmy Carter jointly headed the multinational delegation of the National Democratic Institute and the Carter Center during the Liberian elections. In February 2005, Soglo was reported to have died while receiving treatment at the American Hospital of Paris, located in New Lisseau-Seine, but the report turned out to be false. He is married to Rosine Vieira Soglo, who is also a politician in her own right. What have we missed out of this biography of Soglo? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.